really pissing me off. This is just, what is this game sometimes? Right, attempt number 271. Will this be any different? That is the question. Once we get out of world two, it should be fine. We had a run, as I said, the only other run which has got out of world, actually no, we had two runs today, get out of world two. But if I get this out of world three, then we should be fine. Just get within 30 seconds of what I was doing yesterday got a minute somehow between 7-a and 7-5 which i still get blown away by how i honestly could still sub two with a minute time loss but it's there so we may as well be within 30 seconds take that minute run away with that minute you know and just get into world eight 30 seconds ahead of pb then i got the cushion because i've got time saving 8-4 i don't even have to risk 8-4 you know i yeah i need to go for that interesting thing and um 8-1, but I haven't failed it yet, so hopefully it doesn't come to that. Here we go. Right, let's stop raging and let's start being happy like yesterday. Because yeah, once this game's done, like as soon as I sub two, this game's gone in the in the trash can. And I've got the port to enjoy. I want to get back to Hitman as well and actually get good at that game. Because right now I'm a scrub. Okay, that's good. Yeah, because I need to like get a 150 something on Untouchable. I've got a bunch of 158s, but it would be nice to get a 156. Okay, guys, this is big. I'm not going to go for Luigi Masters Cup, but this is actually faster than Luigi Masters 450. No, it's not actually. It's somehow a 446. Like, I, I, what? How's this a 446? This felt like a 447, if anything. Like, whatever. Apparently, it's a 446. That felt really good. It's plus zero, but we had fireworks, so you can kiss goodbye to that 1.51 seconds of time save. Because we used up all 1.51 seconds of it with the fireworks. Alright, let's just have a decent 1 2. We can exit on 409 pace. Even for 408, 409, that'll be good. As long as it's sub 410, we've got a run going. Okay, that hasn't happened for a while. Undo dog just blurting out random numbers again, which I definitely appreciate. Four three two what? Is that what you want me to get on this level? Because that's the only thing. That's the only thing I can think which resembles a four three two at the moment. Because I think my PBs are four three one here. Sorry to disappoint though. It won't be a four three two because this is slow. It's probably going to be a four two eight at best. Oh my god, this is behind average on this level, which is not good. So it's going to be like a 4.10, maybe a 4.11. Depends how quick the warp is. There's no way this happens. Oh my god. Why do I keep getting 4.11 entries? Like, I missed the warp. I just had to take my time and it was a 4.09. I, for some reason, panicked, thinking that oh, I was going to lose it, but... I've now entered plus four again. And, you know, I'd rather not be plus four just because, although it's small, just a small time loss in world one can really throw me off for the rest of the run. It's always nice to be plus two after that split, not plus four. Because then I'm not going to get a sub 540 here, which means I'm not going to get a sub nine on 2 4, and it just spirals. All mini barriers, which I sort of have to tick off if I want to get a sub two. Pretty slow start to this level. Oh 
pretty slow level in general. This is just had faster than this before. Somehow we've still got fast comp though. That was a bit sketch. Um, three three five maybe, or three three four. I believe this is pretty good. Not the three forty I had earlier, but that was just in, in absolutely insane. Like I've, they haven't even had like three three sevens consistently in runs. I casually just dropped the three forty. Yeah, three three four standard. Yeah, five forty one. That's that's good. See, I can take this. We can run with us. I don't know. Is my screen is my stream freezing, Ray? Because it seemed to bug out on my phone a bit. Hopefully, it's still working for you guys. The last thing I want is for the stream to be all over the place when I've actually got a run going. Especially as they seem like gold dust at the moment when I'm hardly getting runs. Yeah. If this runs sub twos, then I can kiss goodbye to this game. That's the. What I want. More than anything at the moment. I mean, playing like the best I've ever played, but it doesn't matter if I don't get a PB out of it in sub two. Right, let's get another 337. I'm feeling it. Yeah, we tick the box, throw in a point. Yeah, one sec, Ulim. I'll say what you're saying in a second. 369, that's pretty good. 365? Yeah, ticking all the boxes on this level. So it's looking like a 337 again. This is good. I just need a really good ending. Another 337 tonight? That'll be pog. Come on, line it up. Wait, what's happened? Has people joined it? Like, from SA? Or, I don't know. Okay, 335, that's nice. What's going on, Huli? If you can catch me up with the drama, that'd be pretty hype indeed. What's popping? Is Tupla dropped in any percent world record or something? You got Oh, you got some SRC mods in it. They're trying to regulate us. As long as you haven't got any SA like folks trying to shit talk any percent, then I'm fine. I'll just kick them if they do. So which mod? So Solder joined or something? If so, I don't know what he's doing in any percent server. Because no, just some mods. That's cool. I'm, I'm. As long as they're not trying to like start like a beef or anything, like I'm fine. Technically, everyone's admin now, so you could probably just kick them anyway, which is really stupid. But whatever. I trust people not to abuse it. Probably naively. Solder. Yeah, I thought so. He added me as a, as a friend on my friends list as well. It's actually pretty good. I know he doesn't like support any percent, but at the same time he doesn't hate on it, so I'm fine with him. I mean, that's good because I mean we can sort of help each other to an extent. Like if they copy our roots, then they can adapt it to SA. Because I mean, as you and I have shown, like you can sometimes go for an any percent run, and it can just stumble across SA by accident. And what about? Because they were talking about Goron before he left. Yeah. Cool. You got two essays in my any percent season one run the bar. Oh, that's pretty cool. There are some levels you can just stumble across Silent Assassin. What's quite ironic is that I'm playing pretty good now and I'm not even focusing. I'm just talking about Hitman. I mean it sort of says it all about this game. Like I'm talking about another game and I'm having more fun than playing the game. And as a result I'm doing a better run, which I think is just really ironic. Like, plus five against best ever splits is actually not bad at this point. I'll take that. I'm going to be like plus eight at this point. Which I shouldn't be, but... Whatever. Oh, no. Lovely. Imagine losing two seconds on this star. Literally just jump in the middle. Like, I, that hitbox is just great. Yes, yeah, so we lost two seconds here, which is fun. Maybe three. I don't know. Three seconds? 
Ooh, three seconds. That's nasty. So I'm going to go SA31. Damn. It's pretty good. I saw 25, though. That any percent 25 was pretty scuffed. I can definitely see a 24 happening. Like, I, I know you said it would look pretty clean. But I, I could see a 24 happening on this game as well. I mean, it's very hard to optimize the muffin strat, though. Like, it does save a lot of time. But I remember, like, seeing Goron do it on scale. And being like, okay, this is a free four second time save. And then trying to adapt it to one of my escalations. And then I basically knocked two seconds off the escalation instead of four. And I just couldn't optimize the other two. Because, like, he, well, he's just not easy. He's sure in the head and someone got SA. Yeah, sometimes that happens. Like, as I keep saying probably a bit too much on the server, I just remember, like, I was just going for any percent runs on some escalations. And I literally stumbled across the Silent Assassin um, during an any percent run. Tied my any percent PB, got Silent Assassin, and got a world record by 7 seconds on the IO board, which was just like, what? And it was because, like, normally when I created, like, a lot of noise, a lot of people came to investigate. But the one time, like, you know, I wanted my dude to investigate... Um, like he did investigate, but he didn't bring any like back back up. So I sort of only had him investigating. This is the shit level. Right. Okay. I'll take this time loss, I suppose. But I don't want to take too much more time loss than this. Either way, I want to get a run going, so I don't mind it being a bit bad. What are we entering on? Three, five, four. That's not too bad. Right, now you guys have taken some of these levels really far. Like the shooting levels, I'm not that good at, as you know. Oh, I'm getting better at aim labs. 338, that's good. Oh, how do we salvage a 338? Wait, what? That would have been a 342 if I just entered at the normal time. That was such a clean ending. Yeah, we somehow gained time with that shit level. Does that exist? Yeah, just keep up with the aim labs. Yeah, definitely. If you want some legit snipes, I've got some legit snipes coming up on this level. Keep it. But yeah, they're on the controller so they don't count. <laughs> yeah. I'm not exactly setting myself up when I most... You can see why I probably obsess about movement in Hitman. Because my, this game, again, I just do a simple category, not the main one. Where you basically just try to optimize, like, movement. Like, to seconds. You can see these splits. I mean, these splits probably aren't as good as some of the splits I've been doing. Just because I've not been in a good mood today. But, like, sometimes I play within, like, one second the best. And it just stays there. That's why, like, you know... It's just stuff like the fast pickups and you know stutters and stuff during any percent runs like, i just try to minimize them when i can that's why i don't understand muda's run to be honest it's 155 looked like it had time loss but it's it's probably because i have to like keep doing this pause buffering when i'm collecting items on the controller which is probably losing me time I think it's also the like I, I always choke. Um, okay, we already sniped the dude. We, I always choke the ending. Otherwise, I would have probably had a 155 by now. Because I definitely want to attack 153. I mean, Muda said he was going to go for 149, but he hasn't posted it yet. So unless he's like hoarding the time, I would like to um get close to him. Because it is technically the level I'm all right at. Yeah, pause by the super super. I mean, I'm fine with the ending strat, actually. And... But, like, when you pick up items on controller, like, just like with the ending, I need to hold, um, basically the button in order to pick stuff up. So, let's say I need to pick something up really quickly and then turn around. The way I do it is I basically do the, um, the same inputs as exiting a mission in order to pick up an item. It's really... And sometimes you can just end up dropping your item instead. Like, there's a lot of things which can go wrong. Um, and it... So sometimes causes a stutter as well. So it's a lot harder than just picking up stuff on keyboard. Oh my goodness. Wait, where's Luigi Master? What one second you need. Luigi Master, did you see that? 265. Oh, I got a 265 entry. Okay, I actually didn't even do what you did, sort of thing, but I saw what copy what you said. And it's the first time I've ever seen that in this level. Right, this could easily I need to be careful I don't 216 at this point. Right, that was pretty slow. So we're probably gonna 215, but it should still be joint purple. And that's what, 15.32. We got a run going. Got a run going. Can we get sub two on the final run of the night? Yes, we can. This is Hog. Not as good as your 2.66. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that you're just three minutes better than anyone else at any percent. 
And you came to this category and just started eating people here as well. Can we get some subs? <laughs> Lol. Any gifters? <laughs> well, it's, it's, it's 80 channel points for like this emote. It's not even a good emote. But I don't know. I've got a tier 2 emote, but I'm going to... I don't want people having to pay for the emote because the emotes are really shit and they honestly don't sh they shouldn't be the reason why anyone subscribes so i got this one which is quite fitting because i rage all the time um i basically base it around f1 because i've actually had a weird character well a weird game arc in terms of the games i've played so i started off on um f1 games just racing and i used to do league racing and like stuff like on the online games and I did a lot of that, to be honest, for about three years. Then I basically wanted to move on to a game. Which had in-game time. Um, to the nearest second. You can probably see where this is going. Um, and which had, like, interesting movement. And I found this. And um, you got my friend F1 for Christmas? Nice. It's a great, great series of games. I haven't played it in a while. I probably should play it with my friend sooner or later. So you actually purple 2 Dash Castle. I didn't even notice. Lol. It's pretty funny. Imagine purpling that stage. But no, uh, after F1, I sort of moved on to this game. Because it had, like, in-game time to the nearest second. And, like, interesting individual levels. Because so I mostly did this for the individual levels at the beginning. And then I sort of got hooked on the longer categories. And then, yeah, I mean, I sort of found this community on the internet. <laughs> who play, like, GoldenEye 007. I mean, you've probably heard me mention it a few times on um, the Any% Hitman Discord. But, I mean, I, I would never play a game made it before I was born. Because it just looks ugly. But it's crazy to think that they've been optimizing that game for like 20 years because it's to the nearest second. And I, I just find something really like poetic about doing stuff to the nearest second because I can do a shit run on Hitman and nobody can beat it because, I mean, nice, like, good luck trying to get, you know, Cytus in versus 27, which is possible, but like, it's just, yeah. Yeah, full game runs on Hitman are really interesting. Like, I never really thought to give it a go, because on Hitman 2, I, did, I only specialised on Nightfall and, like, a few escalations. Um, there wasn't any other levels sort of thing, because, of course, again, aim labs. Um, I'm not good with a controller, but... On Hitman 3, none of the levels were that taxing, so I thought I'd give it a go. And, yeah. 28, yeah, Citus. It's, it's improvable, though. I think... I don't know, I sometimes, I got the, I don't know if it's true, but I think Hitman 3 runs a bit smoother than Hitman 2. So you can get slightly faster times. It's just a theory I had. I think definitely acrobatics, like sliding down pipes, is a lot faster than Hitman 3. It was noticeable for me. Like, I was able to tie some of my, like, escalation times quite quickly. I'm putting it across. This has not been the best 3-3 so far. Which, considering this is my best individual level. To be honest, I'm not... RTA, these, these stairs are just purely RNG. There's no way you can literally get good stairs, apart from if you do that. And then immediately swap. 447's not bad. You take that. You know, I'm just going to keep talking about him, man. Is doing this run good. I'm on a pretty good place. This weekend I'm teaching you Citus. Yeah, sure thing. I'm going to give I'm gonna give um Gilded Cage a go as well. I saw your runs and like... I remember Gilded Cage being like really stupid with like some psych striker snipes and shit. And I remember just being put off that run. But if you got the sniper, then you know, sniper's free. Like I don't even need aim labs for that. So I could probably get, I probably can't get a 34. It looked pretty optimized, but I could probably try to get a 35, 36. I reckon. Give it a go. It's always nice. I mean, I was pacing, um, I was pacing 20 runs on Freedom Fighters, which is probably the most, the hardest level in Hitman 1. Yeah, in before Goron comes back and starts striker sniping them. He's trying 33. He could probably 32 with striker snipes. But you know what Linus is like. He just grinds levels, doesn't he? But it pays off. You know, I, I, I always like like obsessing about second time saves. But the dude takes it to the next level. Like, Farewell 41 is like a grind I don't even think I would go for. And I was going for like some really stupid shit. Like Nightfall 112. Back in the day. Which was not a good grind. But it's such a it's such a boring level. I don't know why I gas up that run. It's not that impressive. It's just me running in a straight line and just getting a better start. 
Because one, the whole run is dictated by the first 11 seconds. And then the next minute is just you running in a straight line to the boat. And then there's a bit of like dune movement. Because you want to make sure you're not running like directly sideways to a dune or something. And I did a bit of optimization in the middle as well. But it's it's all really stupid. Because you just literally run over a beach. So I don't know why I gassed it up. But Gilded Cage looks pretty full. There's some like extra levels from Hitman 1 as well. Like Landslide's dead as hell. Icon's pretty dead. But um, how spills on sand's pretty technical. Like I put a 48 or 47 time up on the boards. It's really bad, but it's just as a play placeholder. Yeah, if they had more exits in Nightcall, it'd be interesting. Like the escalation there, I hope they still got it on Hitman 3, by the way, because it was such a good escalation. Um, the milled reverie. Like, it's actually so fun any percent because you can knock like five minutes off everyone else's times. Like, you see people flexing like a, a seven minute, eight minute run on Mild Reverie level three. But, yeah. You know, they basically had. You're inside like Orson Mild's, um dream or something. And like, you had a bunch of random wardrobes which you could use as exits. And you basically, you basically had to patch the fire them a few times. The last mission was great because. Oh, yeah, I forgot the rope. Rip. It's gonna lose two seconds but the last mission was so great because you had um um what was it yeah you had to basically um kill all the guards or pacify all the guards and there was like 24 guards so it was like so like routing based and it was like one of the only levels where you could pretty much save like five seconds i remember like my pb at the time was like 10 seconds better than my normal runs and they're like 50 seconds better than what the sa chaps could do Pretty shit level. I'm gonna lose a bit of time. Yeah, not 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 the best, but we got Nike. We haven't even got time save on three dash Yeah, you love Mills Reverie. I don't blame you. Great level. Level two is pretty pog as well. Like I I quite like it escalations because it's a bit like three. It's more like the three difficulty levels, which I think was missing from like Hitman levels. Because you got casual, pro, and master, but what's the difference? Master, you just can't get dressed. Pro, like, you got a security camera which can see you. And casual, like, you know, you just use it for any percent. Like, they're not really different, apart from the fact you take less damage. Like, if there were different objectives, like, in each sort of difficulty level, like, there are in escalations. For example, you know, as, as well as just, you know, killing Alexa Carlisle, you have to, like, dig up more than just the case file and, like, snoop around other stuff. Like, like hack this, do that, like, it would have been more, like, more depth, because I don't see the point of three leaderboards when it's basically just, oh, I can do it on casual, I could probably do it in master if I, you know, just didn't get seen by this more alert guard, for example, because there's nothing in master which you can't do in casual, yeah, the rating system does suck, I agree, that's why I'm quite hyped for Project 007, I wonder what they're going to do for that, this is a good level, that was a good start, 480? Nice, 480. But I really like the levels they brought to the table in Hitman 3, to be honest, on the whole. Is there an ETA? I'm not sure. They announced it like in 2020, so it's probably 2022 or 2023. But I hope they like keep Hitman elements there, because I really enjoy Hitman as a speed game. It's definitely my second speed game at the moment. The only reason why I sort of taken a step back is A, because you guys patterned me to any, you've literally patterned me at any percent. I was like so far away that, I mean, I could see myself getting a 5.4x, but as soon as Tupla dropped a 5.34, and now a 5.26, which is just insane. Like, there's no way I could even do that with a good ending. As we choked this level, which is fun. Um, so I just thought, there's no point me competing there yet. I mean, I will drop a top six eventually, but... This Bowery has been nagging me for like nine months and the port was, well, the port came out today. So I would have liked to, I've got sub two yesterday, but we're just trying to clean it up. Yeah, 526 is insane. Like the dude's not really making any mistakes. At that point, 209 untouchable is good. Like, you know, even the farewell backups, like the safe one, that's, you know, not really useful at that level. 382. We had to sandbag it. Call it a flagpole glitch, guys. Lol. 
plus six on best pace. You've got eight seconds of time save though, so we could still squeeze in another 3004. I've done that twice actually. I don't know how I haven't sub 30 yet when I've got a 3004 two runs in like the last three, which got hit. But yeah, Goron did say 520 is the barrier. So what, what's Collective Summer Best? Like 448, 447 now? Of course, Collective Summer Best is a bit skewed because Untouchable is just an RNG fest. It's really not fun. I don't know why I always seem to gravitate towards the most boring dead levels, but yeah. Clean. Not so clean. Right, cool. Pretty messed up. Yeah, you don't even know. We're gonna head out now? Yeah, no problem, Race. Thanks for chilling. Really appreciate it, man. This actually has a chance of being sub two, so if you want to check in in the next hour and a half, you should catch the ending. Um hopefully Jordan or somebody's here by now. And um I'll definitely tell people to notify it. Like, everyone, if it's closing in on sub 2 towards the end. Right, let's just focus on this. Pretty slow. Come on. Right, let's actually get this working now. Nice, it worked. It's a bit more sketchy than usual, but this is a pretty decent level. I've done better, but whatever. <laughs> We're gonna gain in about six seconds. We'll probably be like, <laughs> this is probably gonna 30.04 again. Oh my goodness. Okay, I got a timer, didn't I? So that's fine. Oh my god, 380 though. I think I only got one timer. Okay, this is good. This is really good. Oh, guys, we're ahead. <laughs> we're ahead of best pace. Jeez, yeah, talking about Hitman is done the bits. Yeah, let's keep talking, Guinea. I'm having a good conversation. And you know what? If I keep talking about Hitman and I um, end up, you know, PBing, I can then go back to Hitman faster because I can get rid of this shit game and just tick off sub two from my bucket list. I mean, 16 seconds on a run which was so scuffed yesterday. Like, this barrier is free. I just need to not die in mode seven, which is easier said than done. But yeah. I'm just trying to think of good Hitman levels. Like, there's not too many Hitman levels, considering, like, there's only, of course, one level per map. That's why I normally do escalations as well, because it's, like, seven. So if there's a shit one, like, you just move on. Like, Mumbai was just the worst, though. Really. Like, straight up. Like, that mission is just convoluted as fuck, and then you got the escalations, which I don't think there was a single good escalation at Mumbai. As we've lost cannon, which is great. Then we taking damage, right? This is all of a sudden turned into a nightmare. I haven't had to do this in a while. This is going to lose me five seconds. Apparently this is not, this is allowed under itemless. Don't ask me. Oh, you did a full game. What was your full game time? Was it better than the 18 minutes to which that dude was submitting? That was such a funny joke. So it's lost me about four seconds. That's fine. Like, that's not too bad. And I played it safe because I'm now going to be big into his though. So it's better than the Seppuku. Ray improvable sub four. Yeah, sub four is definitely the barrier. 434. Yeah, Pitchy has a 409. On Hitman 2. And he said sub four is free. I'm sure you can get it. But it's, it's a lot harder. Like, I personally think getting close in Hitman 3 is a lot easier. Because apart from Berlin... And China, there's not really any skill intensive levels. It's just run from A to B. I mean, Dartmoor's pretty free. Um, I mean, I'm really shit at Dubai, but it doesn't matter because I can get 13s every run, which is enough. Oh my goodness. Why is this level so bad? <laughs> 20 seconds lol. Yeah, but it's just like random sniper cheese. That's basically Hitman 1 and Hitman 2 in a like, nutshell. Oh, rip. Rip 3003. We only lost 4 seconds. That is a miracle. Honestly. 
That level started off so badly, I thought I was going to lose the run. So to lose four seconds, you know. What's funny is that I, I, I lost the... Well, how much did I lose? Considering I fret about like 10 second time losses in a two hour run. Um, yeah, I just somehow allowed myself to lose 31 seconds at China. And I just thought, just, like, yeah, fine. 6.22. Doesn't matter, I choked to 5.50. Just, I don't know why I let that slide. And then I was missing the hush shot so often. I got a way that I can guarantee like 115 so. Like the SMG is so overpowered on that level. Like if you can get a lucky hush snipe like I did with the SMG, you guaranteed like... Yeah, hush shot sucks, but with the SMG, I even on controller, I was able to pace 13 second drones. Like if I can do that on controller, just imagine what you can do on like keyboard and mouse. Like, because it's so much better than the machine pistol. Like machine pistol I just suck at. Like, I'm at least a second slow of it. But the only problem is with the SMG is that you have to shoot Hush like 60 times, and otherwise he doesn't die. Or you can just fluke a headshot and he dies in one hit. So it's a lot of RNG. But the good thing is, is that you can just spray and pray. And if you hit him in the chest, you reset his animation. So you can just keep him in place. And all you're doing is making Imogen like move to a better position anyway. Down at the bottom. Because that's what I like about China. You fuck up Hush, it doesn't matter. Because that dude's RNG anyway. You fuck him up, it just makes Imogen in a better position. Which is good. Like, you can get 115s by losing 20 seconds at the beginning. Which makes no sense normally, but it's because Imogen's just moved to a much better position. Which I think is pretty dope. Because it makes it even harder to gain a second. Like, like Tupla had to work so hard to get a 105. Like, and Goron got a 104. Like, the Muffin strat saves half a second. Like, you get the three seconds sooner, but it doesn't matter because Imogen's, like, you know, chilling by the doors, just taking a sweet time. You had to save your Colorado wrong as well. How, what did you get on Colorado? You should watch it later? Of course I'll watch it later. I'll give it a thumbs up and a like. Do you, do you stream attempts as well, Dooney? Just out of interest. I know, I know Lord Linus, he streams everything, doesn't he? He missed the chandelier. You missed the chandelier? Are oh, you will tomorrow? Cool. Hit me up on the Any% percent server. I'll try to check it out. I'm doing a run for like my university marathon on this game. But after that, I'm probably going to put this game to bed. Especially if this run could be sub 2. You never know. It'd be a bit of a shame if it's sub 2 though. Because Jordan's doing a race. Like he's been by me the last 9 months. I've been doing this. Ray said he had to go. But hopefully they come back for the last bit. There's less pressure until then, I suppose. Oh, it's so clean. I'm just going to take this save, because why not? May as well just lose a second for no reason. Right, let's just focus on this star, and then I will go back to talking about Hitman, because it's more fun. Nice. Yeah, that can happen on Colorado. It's all about luck. But yeah, pacing 21. That that shot on um, my Pavati, though. Like, I'm never doing a full game run. I haven't landed it once. Actually, no, I landed it once with a dying. I've landed it about seven times. She's died once. And that shot's really hard. Like, I don't even think keyboard makes a difference because you could, like, it. Keyboard and mouse makes a difference because you can land the shot and then she just won't die. Which is just great. Because you have to hope that she runs under the block at the right time. And there's, like, six different. You know, there's, like, ten different panic animations you can do. Wait, what did you get? 37 without Pavati shot. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's good. That's really good. Well, we're on our best ever pace. I'm just going to gloss over that. Because, yeah, we're not comparing against PB. PB was a bit shit. To be honest, I think PB was best ever pace until um, 4 1 anyway. So, technically, this is PB. Pace. <laughs> SA Frogs. It's definitely RNG, to an extent. It's too precise at that distance. But of course, I mean, like, as I said to you, Hoodie, they literally created SA Fiber Wire because they can't shoot properly. You, you don't want to talk to them. Like, because then they'll just say, oh, Gula can shoot. Like, you know, there, there's some really good SA runners, like Muda, Gula, you know, 
All of them lot are really good. But then the other any percent run, like, and Mendy as well, they're really good. The other ones, just hide the fact that, look, they can get SA. It doesn't matter if I'm one minute behind these good guys. Because, you know, I can get SA, which is better than any percent. Because I get more points. Look at me, I get more points. Like, being a minute behind on any level is shit. Like, I am complaining that I am 12 seconds behind on Berlin. Because that's honestly abysmal for a 25 second level. And I need to rectify it as soon as possible. But no, they would see 12 seconds and be like, oh, that's close. I remember, I mean, again, Sold is one of the better ones. But I remember when I said, look, I think this dude's hacking on Divine. Um, so I think there was like Hanning Gase Casement something, level one. And I was like, this dude must be hacking because his levels just run from A to B. I mean, and it's easy, it's really easy to get SA because it's the same as any percent. Is this literally run from A to B and this dude has a three second record over everyone else? Is this dude legit? And they're like, yeah, he's legit. But I'm like, you know, but this time seems really sus. And he's like, oh, it's three seconds ahead. It's not a big deal. I'm like, you run from A to B. Like, you can't gain three seconds. Like, it is a big deal. Then I realized that like, he did a li different strat and then I casually beat him by one second. And, you know, I had like my name imprinted on the top of that leaderboard for one day before Lord Spratz had to return and get a 20 second time on a 40 second level. Because, you know, we always love it when a cheater comes back and just randomly beats times. It's like he literally checks the leaderboards, you know. Every time he gets beat, he's like, oh, this dude beat me? Time to knock him back. That's why I love running any percent as well. I look at Sprut's times and I'm like, can I beat them in an any percent? Like, that's what I always tell myself. Like, I beat his Del Delgado Larceny by like 20 seconds by doing any percent. That's so slow. 179, I'm vomiting. Yeah, we, we miss Sprut. Like, you know, all of these, like, B-Tech cheaters getting 204 untouchables. Like, getting tied by Gula. Like, my guy King Sprout would have got a one-minute untouchable. And he, everyone knows it. Yeah, I beat Sprout on an escalation or something in Hitman 2 as well. It feels good, and then he comes back at you. Yeah, I had exactly the same experience. Don't worry, mate. King Sprout, though. It's funny, like... I remember, like, I used to think it was legit. I was like, how the fuck is that such a big spread? I know an inception, level one. Like, this thing is literally just get a knife. Knife the dude and run to an exit. And some guy's got, like, a 10-second world record on it. Like, what? And then I realized it was Lord Sprout, and he's just absolutely ghosted at the game. Like, you know, there's, like, three different levels. There's controller plebs, like myself, who can't aim. There's, like, keyboard warriors and mouse warriors, who are, like, you know, the mid-tier. And then there's Lord Sprout, who's using, like, you know... He's using like, not even VR, like what the fuck could he be using which is that good? He's using like a joystick or something. And then he's somehow getting like 10 second world records by like, you know. It's a bit like the dude who got like a 105 night call with PSVR. It's like, bro, like how is that a 105? It was so bad. But no, you can literally run faster and then you can punch people from behind without losing time. Which is the most overpowered thing. Just imagine if you could run through Untouchable punching people for no you know it's great it's great i really wish vr like physics was implemented into the main game like it would make running levels like untouchable just a lot nicer all right we made the skip noise this runs pretty good we just need to um so as jordan's not here so he's not going to tell me to go for rock plus keeper so i can actually just focus on four dash castle I love how you're just casual, like, I'm just casually talking over, like, my best paced run. I mean, this isn't even that special at this point. It's only minus four on a run, which I probably should be minus ten on, but... Still, this is technically my best ever pace still, and I'm just casually talking about Hitman. It's just so fun. <laughs> I'm having a good time, though. Like, this is what I'm saying. When I'm in a good mood, I just play well. Go for Rockets. Preston's here, yes! <laughs> we may have had, Bre we may have had, um, we may have had Raze and Jordan go, but Preston's here. Yeah, this is sub two now. It's all we need. Luigi Master's gone. Actually, I think Luigi Master's still here. But Preston's here. Preston, I died on 7-3 on a run which was tied with the run yesterday. And then I realized, like, after, like, losing a minute on 7-3 um, and 7-4, I had 20 seconds of time save on 7-A, which I didn't even know existed. Like, and then another a minute, literally, on 7-5. So I literally had a minute and 20 seconds of time save if I just lived on 7-3. And then I had to lose a minute there. So, like, you know, I completely lost it all. Like, it was so sad, honestly. But this run is really pog at the moment. 
Like, as long as we... Like, you know, we're not going to go for Rockless because you put a Keepo in front of it, because, which means you're joking. Keepo. But, like, we won't go for Rockless, but hopefully we actually don't get cucked by Brawler like we did last run. And all of a sudden, we're entering World 5 on PB pace, which is what I want, really. But yeah, fuck Rockless, man. Like, my joystick's just going haywire when I'm going for spin jumps. But yeah, I, I was in a bad mood after that death, and then I just wasn't getting a run going for, like, 10 runs. And then I just, I don't know, I, I just started talking about Hitman with my good friend Tudim from the Hitman 3 Any% percent server. And um, all of a sudden I just started playing pretty good again. Because I'm in a good mood. And of course I'm in a better mood now because Preston's turned up. Absolute goat. Have you subbed to Any% percent on the port yet though? Come on. Like for somebody who's as good as you, surely your second playthrough was sub 2. Bro, one of my Marrakesh PBs was me and my friends talking about sandwiches. I know. <laughs> Credit. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is this is the great thing, Preston. You know how, like, in our community, like, we name stuff like Rockless. So, you know, we try to name strats, like, generally. And sometimes I will credit Race. you know. If he helped me, like, with one of the strats, I will credit him. Like, out of kindness. In Hitman 2 and Hitman 3, like, there's, like, a whole community, which I keep talking about, which... Go for Silent Assassin speedruns, which is the most arbitrary bullshit. It's basically like you need to get five stars in the mission. Like, it's not even like speedrun it. It's just do this. And they call it speedruns. And um, they get they get butt hurt when people don't credit them. It's so funny. Like, we literally had a guy raging on the server that he invented a strat. And then the dot... Oh, my God. Let's just ignore that. I didn't know that they could fall off. I just wasn't paying attention. I've never seen that happen, but whatever. That's literally the story of my life now. Right, I could take that time loss. It's just a bit frustrating. I'm in a good mood still. I can bring it back. I have so much time saved later on. But come on. I mean, look, this is what it's meant to do. I mean, come on. Really? A bit annoying. I don't know how much time we lost. Probably about 20 seconds, maybe 25, which is pretty bad, actually. Keeper, we might actually have to go for Rockless. That's not good. It's annoying that I lost the run this early, but whatever. The run's not quite dead. It's only dead when I say so. It's a shame I was on best ever pace as well. But of course. It's because I stopped talking about Hitman. Keep it. Just keep talking about Hitman. And then I'll start PBing again. Bro, how much time loss is this? Damn, this is a big chunky time loss. 3, 2, 1. Any percent is king. Yeah. Fuck SA. They can, they can go jog on. I haven't done second playthrough yet, but it will be. Nice. World 7 does suck so much. I've died every single level there now. So I, I, I honestly know that I have to expect a death there. Plus 18 with 10 seconds of time save it. This is not good. We're just going to have to hold off until 5-7. And then hopefully get time save there. But Preston, I had the best ever World 6. You know you know how the run yesterday didn't have a bad World 6? We didn't have a good World 6. We didn't have a bad World 6 either. I literally purpled 6-5 of all levels. Like that really hard level, I purpled it by like 3 seconds. And then I brought back a 23 second deficit to a 3 second deficit. By literally having the most monka s World 6. And then of course I just throw it all away in World 7. When I literally brought back sub 2 from the Jaws of Defeat. I didn't even go for Fast Fuzzy, and it was still like a purple World 6 by like a long way. So yeah. That's my life. How have you been doing, my friend? Though? Have you been enjoying the port today? Whilst I've been suffering on this shit piece of garbage on the Wii U. Which isn't even a Wii U, because I don't own one. It's on port. Just checking in, you had a 114-6-dash castle split. I had a run going until I died on 4-5 um, because um, Star 1 somehow killed me. But it's still going well. We're only 18 seconds behind, which I can tolerate. So this could be it. It's just annoying. But thanks for checking in, Jordan. Really appreciate it. I've got Preston now. And I'm in a good mood because I've been talking about Hitman with my good friend 2D. So we've just casually been not even focusing on the run and somehow dropping PB splits because... Why not? And of course, why not just take damage there? 327 though? Damn, 327 is insane. Like, considering I didn't go for Rockless. You just played through Bowser's Fury casually. Sounds great. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Hide this nonce. 
Right, if this dude snipes me, I'm gonna cry. Bro, he didn't even snipe me. He sniped the child again. Like, how was he sniping that? Honestly, unbelievable. Right, so we've lost even more time. So we're gonna be plus 25 into WOD 5. I, I, I don't know what to say. Like, it's been a really clean level apart from that. So we only get plus 7. We took damage, which doesn't help. So it could be even more time lost in 5-1. This is not looking great. All because of that random time loss. In whatever the fuck that level's called. 4-5. Yeah, look at the time loss. Plus 25. Nice. Yeah, plus 25. Keep talking about Hitman. Yes, keep going. <laughs> yeah, I need to keep talking about Hitman. Oh, plus 26. Ooh. Bro, it's not even sub 46. Oh, no, we can't do it now. This is it's impossible. Honestly, what am I doing? I need to run now to bring this back. Because we got time save in somewhere. 5-7. Right, what were you talking about, Hitman? Because, you know, I, I don't want to focus on this run. Because this run the garbage. Oh, we got four. I, I keep forgetting. I've got five seconds time save in this level. This level is such a meme. Captain Toad. I literally just called Hitman. I literally call Hitman levels Captain Toad levels. And you'll see why. These Captain Toad levels, they're literally just... Running in two dimensions. Keep ranting about the S. Oh, not them. Not them. They're absolute plebs, I swear. Apart from, like, I I'm friends with Solda. Solda's a nice guy. Um, Mood is a nice guy. Goron technically is an SA Grog as well. It's just the ones, it's just the ones who turn up on the speedrun.com servers and they're like, oh my goodness, somebody got 20 seconds slower than my strat but didn't credit me. Like, they didn't beat your time. I don't know what you're getting in a hissy fit. Also, even if they did beat your time, fair enough. Like, you know, I'm not then going in a hissy fit that Muda beat me by five seconds fair and square and untouchable by, oh my god, using my guard law. I mean, I don't own the guard law considering he did it completely differently to me. He did it in a faster way, which was cleaner. I don't own that trick, so, you know, I just congratulated him and said, well done for refining my movements. And the fact that the dude is so used to these SA frogs, you know, tell him off for using their route, that he, he literally said to me, is it alright that I've beaten your time using your route, technically? I don't want to annoy you and I don't want you to think it's personal. And I'm like, mate, I'm glad you beat my time. Because it means I actually have something to go for on that level. And you know what? I, I didn't even have a sub 2 on that level. He beat me by 7 seconds. I got a 158 the next day. Like, you know. Thanks, dude. I mean, your 155 inspired me to go for sub 2. Like, <laughs> I'm not gonna... It's a bit like me telling... What was it? I, I picked up this category nine months ago before anyone was really running this category properly. Like, because this category used to just be a meme and people hadn't really done a run for this in a long time. And the world record was a 2.12.21. And within like a span of a few months, I lowered it to like a 2.06, you know, and I sort of took a break until like other people joined. But when the other people joined, like they were technically using like strats from my videos, which I'd like pioneered to get good. I wasn't then saying, oh, you should pay me $5 because you're using my strats. I, I welcome the competition. I just wish. Like, you know, I, I remember telling the 3D World server when I first joined the Hitman 2 server. My goodness. I literally remember thanking them and saying, thanks for not being toxic when I joined the server. Because my goodness, there are some toxic communities out there. I remember just literally joining for any percent and the dudes would like, they didn't even give a shit. Getting a 6, I would never come for a 6, exactly. But then, you know, it's when they, literally, they comment on Linus's video when he's literally grinded 5 hours for a 6 second time. And it's like, oh, you copied his strat. I mean, so what? Like, there's a 3 second level on 3D World where 25 people have the 3 second tight world record. You know, it's my most viewed video on my YouTube channel. I don't credit the first guy to get 3 seconds. I don't even know who the first guy was to get 3 seconds. It's just, it's so fucking obvious how you can get 3 seconds that you don't need to credit. And, you know, we as a community just understand that. But no, the Hitman community is just a bit special sometimes when it comes to credit. I don't understand. If I want to credit somebody, I will shout, I literally will say during my run, I'm using this guy's strat. Or I'll say after the run and I'll credit him. But if he starts crying to me saying, you use this strat, which is mine. Saying like, you know, oh, you use some physics, which are part of the game. Which I own, because I own the route, and I own this part of the game. It's just so stupid. I mean, I see why you get angry at these dudes. These dudes piss me off too. 
You see, some have got a five ending. Like, what? Yeah, I know. It sucks, man. Like, he, he, he grinded hard as well. So he, 31 seconds behind. This is probably a new level of shit, which I have not seen in a while. So, he, he spots the shot. <laughs> like, guys, guys. <laughs> On day one, like, it's a bit like... You know how, like, Mendy and other people had early access to Hitman 3? Technically, the new game of this was leaked a week early. And it's a bit like those people claiming a world record before the leaderboards even open, when they're opening next Monday, and then saying, I own this route. Anyone who hasn't unlocked the game early because they didn't pirate it or didn't get lucky with Amazon deliveries fucking up, you now need to bow down to this route, even so the game's not out there. It's just, it's just crazy. Like, the gatekeeping... I just imagine if Mendy got a time, like 17 seconds on, like he pretty much did to be honest. Like, and he started like gatekeeping all the other SA runs. Excellent. It's just really annoying. 83, not even 84, SMH. <laughs> Mighty Mop, welcome to the stream. I was actually the first person to touch the D-pad on Wii U. You owe me royalty payments. See, my Mighty Mop, what a beast. Oh, two plus poached Linus. Nice. Also, yeah, sorry about the rant, Mighty Mop. I'm just, I'm finding that ranting about Hitman and not about this game because I normally rant about how bad my runs are going is actually helping my run, which you can see by the 25 second time loss I suffered on 4 5 because I wasn't ranting about stuff. So we're just going to keep ranting and we're going to keep PBing. I mean, because ironically, we can still turn around. Like, I normally would give up on a plus 30, but we can probably turn this around still. Like, it's not the end of the world. Yeah, Tupla got 33. I, I I just feel bad for Linus, man. Like, whenever he's going for, like, a six-hour grind, and somebody just casually... Like, I swear he got world record any percent by one second, and then Tupla lowers it by five seconds the same hour. Like, he said, oh, I know you worked, like, two days on this, but I just casually did this on my third run of the day. Like, that's just such a dick move. Like, just imagine. Like, at least, like, hoard the time and, like, let the guy enjoy his world record for, like, five minutes. <laughs> I literally think he posted it directly after. Like, it's so funny. Almost as funny as this. Wow. Okay, when you got two seconds of time save and you lose five seconds. To, I don't even know what the fuck that was. Like, honestly. But yeah, I can definitely afford to lose five seconds right now. Like, when I'm plus 30 on splits, which aren't that good. To be honest, ironically, plus 30 is still fine. Like, that's the, that's the sad part. I'm so much better at this game the last two days because of how much grinding I've had to do to get sub 2. That plus 30 is still fine. Which is crazy. She became in destroyed. Yeah, yeah. And now it's on 33. Rip. Super's actually a beast. Like, 21 freedom fighters. And he says he's got it, like, nine times. Like, bro, I haven't even killed Maya Pavati more than once. How would you get, the, like, the world record time nine times? I, I can pace it, but it there's no point pacing something if you can't land the final kill. I don't even know if I can pace 21s. I average pacing 22. So I don't know what he's pacing in order to get, like, nine 21s. Bro, 277 is manky. Wait, 277? Hey, can someone tell me how I lost two seconds there? Like, Preston, if you're watching still, how did I lose two seconds when I literally just dicking around at the beginning for like five seconds trying to get up a hill? I, honestly, I'm amazed. If that loses two seconds, then I'm sub in this run. I'm sorry. Pog, you, I'm on 130 subs. Do you mean, is that on Twitch or YouTube? Because subs on Twitch means something completely different to followers on Twitch. Because, trust me, if you're on 130 subs, you're bawling on Twitch. Because Twitch subs, like, are worth $5 a month or something. And I just said dollars even, so I'm a European. Because, I don't know, everyone in the 3D world community is American. So I've just been Americanized. That's, that's, that's probably the clutchest save I've ever done. Like, that's like the complete opposite cycle I normally go for. And I've got a 370 nice. YouTube, nice. Ironically, my YouTube was like hit 100 subs, but then my, my Twitch somehow went from 50 followers 
to like 140 followers quicker than my YouTube's gone from 100 to 110. Because my YouTube's just dead. Like, I haven't uploaded anything to YouTube since like Untouchable 202. Like, I think my last five YouTube videos have literally just been untouchable. Which is really sad. Because it's not exactly a fun level. Speaking of fun levels, this is so fun. Bro, this is so slow. And I got another time loss. What's this? 320? 319. I'm literally vomiting. Five times today. Nice. Four times. So you got an active YouTube. Cool. I love it how like all of these SA dons who like think they're really popular in the frog community. I like, have two YouTube subs. Like probably their mum and their dad. Like it, it's pretty sad. Like, you know, they say that we're failures, but like, you know, 130 YouTube subs is decent. And like some actual good runners only have like, in Hitman only have like 20 subs. It's really sad. Nice. We didn't lose 20 seconds like we did the other two runs. So we've actually got automatic time save. And this, my dude's gonna run in super slow motion. Okay, that was pretty fog. We managed to avoid taking damage now. Yeah, who needs checkpoints? Checkpoints are for babies. Um, yeah, this glitch is really stupid. You can basically crouch and then jump in order to gain like mad levels of speed. Again, if I knew about this when I first played the game, I probably wouldn't have stuck playing it because you know, it's, it basically defeats the purpose of optimization, in my opinion, when you've literally got a speed trick which saves, which can gain infinite speed, but whatever. Oh, did it double fire? It double fired! Bro, this is purple. And then I somehow scuffed the purple. Bro, how am I scuffing the purple? How am I scuffing purple? Don't scuff it! 317! God, thank God. If I got a 316, I would have cried. Let's go. Let's keep talking about Hitman. Plus 19. This is salvageable now. This is better than the run earlier. Which, considering I literally lost 30 seconds. Somewhere. Oh, yeah, I literally lost 30 seconds and I got 5 levels. And then I'm somehow back in the game. Plus 19 is salvageable. Especially as my World 7 has been so shit recently. But no, we're up against a really good 5 dash castle. That's not good. Imagine having to be good at this level. This level's shit. And so we've been getting consistent at it, I suppose. Camera minute. I'm just going to point the camera down because apparently that affects the cycles. But it doesn't matter because we still choked. The cycle. Lovely. I mean, I've just lost five seconds because I couldn't get a cycle. Whatever. It's fine. We gained like five seconds before, I suppose. It's time to lose five seconds. I don't know when our next time save is. 362 is pretty shit. Right, we'll go for this slow version of the fast strap. Which is fun. It's still a fast strap. Nice, this is pretty clean. Well, this is very clean. No, it's not so clean because I had a shit start. Right, 334 is pretty bad. Probably losing about 4 seconds. But boohoo, who cares about four seconds? Like, I'll gain it back in six dash one or whatever. Like, honestly, I had the, such a good world six though, like in earlier's run. Like, I honestly have never seen anything like it. I purpled world six dash one. I then actually had a really shit six dash two. Honestly, don't know how I hung on to that. Honestly, I, I took damage on this dude. All right, okay, let's actually focus now because. I never knew you could take damage to this dude. This dude is the freest boss fight in the game. He literally falls over and you jump on him. You're going to do a 33? Good luck, man. It's been, a, been great having you chill in my stream, though. I know this is probably not what you followed for. And don't worry, I will get some Hitman content in sooner or later. But hopefully you still had a good time in the stream. Even watching this garbage-ass game. Like, honestly, I don't know who likes this game. Apart from me. And Like, sometimes this game just throws horse shit at you and expects you to deal with it it was fun to watch great probably more fun to watch than my any percent runs which died to china and i actually i can't remember the last time i got out of berlin on a good pace 
Oh yeah, actually I do. It was the 622, then I died at China. So yeah, <laughs> it, at least I'm not resetting as much as my Hitman any percent, I suppose. I'll probably just go back to an untouchable grind to like next week, but again, it would help if I can sub to this. That would be fun. Yeah, if if anyone's still in stream chat, I'm sorry I've been blabbering on about Hitman like the last world and a half. I will stop now and I'll focus on the run again. We pick up with this run on World 6 and um, it's the same as earlier. And earlier's run almost converted to sub 2 if I didn't die on 7-3. So let's just have a good World 6, eh? I mean, we've done it before. By good World 6, I mean an actually good 6-2. And then everything else can just be adequate. And we can start by getting a 371. That would be fun. This game is shit. This game is shit. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Gonna be minus 30 and then die in mode 7. I don't even know. I'm trying to hum along to the Captain Toad lyrics, but it's really not great. Ugh, we lost the second on Captain Toad. <laughs> okay, you know the run's dead when you're 24 seconds behind now. I mean, we sub one. You were literally one second behind the run from earlier. That's, that's so funny. Holy shit, can we just get out of World 7, please? Like, there's literally eight levels in World 7 which just want to kill me. Which is fun, because I've died to every single one of them. And it's always a different one each run, because, like, it would be a bit dead if it was the same one. Like, where's the variety? Whew! Right, we're back on the grind, and I'm in a good mood. Plus four, I, I wouldn't normally be in a good mood when it's plus 24. But I've salvaged this earlier, only to die in mod 7, so I know it is salvageable. I don't really want to go for Fast Fuzzy. I know Luigi Master is still lurking here. Again, I'm going to call you out, Luigi Master. I know you're here, and you're going to tell me to go for Fast Fuzzy. You've been waiting for your moment to tell me to go for Fast Fuzzy. I will spoil the party early, because I don't think I want to go for Fast Fuzzy, depending on how good this world 6 is. It might be necessary, though. And if it is, then I'll just go for it. Like, why not? Right, let's just sandbag this. Right, so let's just sandbag this, and I think... Nice, this works. I think this is the same cycle as last time. And it's not the same cycle as last time. That's really sad. Right, we should still be on a 302. Yeah, 302. I'm surprised I didn't get hit last time though. But it's fine, as long as we don't die here. We save a lot of time, that's good. We're yeah, pressing, you joined earlier and I was too engrossed in my conversation. I didn't even ask you how you're doing today, my friend. Like, it's great to see you. I, hopefully you're still here. I haven't put you off with all my absolute wass I've been spouting recently. I mean, how dare I speak about another game when I'm playing this? But, yeah, hopefully you're still here. And you're enjoying the run so far, because it's been a bit of a roller coaster, even so I've sort of kept relatively emotionless. I'm just gonna risk this for the chocolate biscuit. Well, it's a glorified seppuku, I suppose. All right, 12 seconds time save. This is a bit meh now. Right, can we get good bullies? Right, it's looking quite hard to sub two now. It's only a small mistake, but it could cost me. Oh, 
You're still here? Nice to know. Also nice to know that that randomly kills me. Honestly, what the fuck? Why is these bullies being a big dickheads now? Oh my god, I'm losing more time. You have lots of stuff to get done, that's fair enough. I really appreciate you being here though. Sorry that my run's pretty garbage. Oh my god, really? I'm only losing how much time? I suppose that's alright, we got 5 seconds of time safe. Oh god. Why is 6 2 always shit in these levels? Well, this is still salvageable. I might need to go fast fuzzy now. I just need to survive until checkpoint. I should be fine. Yeah, that makes sense. I don't blame you, like, unless I really cleared out my schedule and just stopped work for like a day or two, I wouldn't have been able to do this. Like, in terms of the length. I normally only have time for one run a night. So only tonight and last night I've pulled a raise and just done like multiple runs. I definitely think it helps doing, well, I'm not ever going to be doing a 10 hour stream like him, but it helps being able to do like a 5 hour one instead of a 2 hour. Or a 3 hour one. I'm going to take this semi safe now, because I'm small. Just going to take precautions, because any death now pretty much kills the run. Alright, 3 5 1, that'll do. Three two seven. Three two eight, nice. Yeah, I don't blame you. I think Ray said he had an hour and fifty minutes of sleep. Which is just so stupid. But it's Ray's, so I'm not surprised. And yeah, I know sleep can definitely throw you off. Like that's why I really wanted it yesterday, because I had like the best sleep. Like the two days before leading up to that because i knew that i needed a really good rest after my meltdown the other day really prepped myself in the headspace and i was in the right frame to get sub two then probably even a better frame than i am today today i'm just trying to struggle what i can i found out you can go right side all three times and you can get a really nice end cycle oh um, but only if you're fast enough I had like a perfect 273 earlier. This is a 270. Which is pretty meh. But either way, it's really good to see you in the stream still. Because I can still see who's there. And just seeing names inspires me. It's just these splits are not inspiring at the moment. Because I'm sort of yo-yoing. It's not like what I like to do. Got 1 minute 45 seconds still on the table, which is better than usual. We just need a good end. But yeah, since we've adopted like skipping a star in 3-4, we've just been able to get a lot more runs going. Come on. This is not good because I had a purple here in the run before. So we're losing a lot of time to the run earlier now. Which is not good. We've lost time like the last three splits. Yeah, definitely. This is like seven seconds behind. So I think we're going to miss a cycle. Go on, nice slope speed though. Start. Don't double blow. Nice. These ones don't double blow like the other ones. So not a 315. It's going to be like a 307. Nice.
if I can hold it at plus 31, I've got like a minute time save. 7-A and 7-5. This is not as good as the other one. I mean, it always sort of has... Well, I've always thought I need percentage. Well, I've always thought 5-5 -5 is a good level. For two stars, yeah. I, I always rate it more than 5-6. I was even thinking about adopting it for Mario percent, but then I chose the route with 3-4. Because I think it's slightly more secure. Wait one sec. Where am I? Okay, cool. We salvaged that. I, I realized I wasn't on the top. So I just had to make sure I wasn't in that well. So that's fine. We went for fast fuzzy and we didn't die. So it's not the best, but it's not the worst either. That was nice. That was solid. This is like saved a cycle. So this is like the best you can hope for, which isn't blind. Because you get the star when you are still just be able to see it. And then you catch the cycle, the 352. So it's like a cycle better than normal, but like two cycles away from well, three cycles away from perfection. Because perfection says four cycles over like the standard. Don't know why I lost a bit of time there. Nice. Just cleaning up up there. So we're going to save some time back. Quite a bit of time. Not quite 28 seconds, but it'll do. We're at a similar place to the um, earlier run now. I just need to hold on now. This is... <sighs> This hasn't really been a run which I would call sub 2 material, but it technically can. Especially as I've been playing better now. Like, I can sub 2 it from a lot more places, I feel. I just need to get lucky in mod 7. That's basically the only thing holding me back now. It's just a lot harder than, like, you know, being 18 seconds ahead, which I've been, like, the other few runs. Because we're not comparing against PB, we're comparing against the run yesterday. Which is better than PB. Which is good at least. Because we know that's got even more time save. Than um, PB itself. So if we can match that run. Then yeah we'll be ahead of PB by quite a long way. So right now I think we are. I think we're probably behind PB to move. PB was pretty strong. Until 7-4. That's when PB faltered. And of course. We might even be comparing against the run earlier, and so I don't think that was ever best pace at any point. I think you got close though. All right, if I just don't choke 7 1, I think I've got a run going. And 7 3, that's just straight to me today. Hopefully, we can get through there and get into 7 4, clean that up, be quite nice. 7 A, 7 5, just make sure we save time. And then we could have a run. Because I feel confident now on 7-7 -7 and 7-Castle. -7 -7 -7 -7 -7 -7 -7 -7 but it's all speculation at this point. We are plus 18. Not ideal. This run has not been ideal at all. Like, I literally can see about 45 seconds I've lost already. Which is not good. Like, normally I want a almost flawless run up until now. But, like, just the rest has been solid enough that I can say I'm only 20 seconds behind, like, best pace. Which is pretty stupid. Just so the best pace is just a bit scuffed still. But I can literally bleed 45 seconds and still call it 20 seconds behind. Right, let's just hug this wall. Can we hold this bomb? No. Nice. Nice, nice screen change. Pretty standard. Okay, don't know what that was about, but luckily didn't die. Which is always a good thing on this level. Let's try not to take damage on Boom Boom like I did before. That was a bit stupid.
What's this? A two, two, six, nine. Yeah. That's an entrance. <laughs> you right, mum? I won't go to bed too late, but thanks, mum. Or in other words, I will not do a raise. <laughs> Keep it. Alright, come on. Nice. I mean, it's slow, but I don't care. I'm big into boss blob. Which means I don't have to worry at all. Because I should be able to take a hit if necessary. It's always nice when you can take a hit. Right, I took a hit on 7-1, which sort of threw me off a bit for 7-3. So you need to be careful about that. Alright, we're holding it at plus 18. That's good. That's the best we can do. Boss Blob's got two seconds. 7 1. I mean, this is where we're up against pretty strong splits until 7 A, I believe. I don't know if I got Fast Cycle on 7 4 on these splits. That would be like another. If I didn't, then I might go for it. We're plus 19 seconds at the moment, but that should still be good enough for a PB. It's just can it PB by 17 seconds? That's what that's all I care about at this point. Oh dear. Right, I think this is like probably five seconds slower than the run earlier, and that run was definitely sub two material. So I'm I'm confident. In a much better position entering mode 7 as well. So even if we are 5 seconds behind, we can play it quite aggressively for a bit. What's my summer best thing? It's saying that my best possible time is a 158.40 spell. So you got 1 minute 20 choke room. That's really an ouch. Like, it means I can't make any mistakes from here on out. Which is why I always like to be probably 30 seconds ahead of this at the moment. Because... There's inevitably going to be a 30 second mistake in mode 7. And we just need to play pretty solidly for the rest. Okay, that was pretty slow. I mean, overall, world 6 was a bit of a letdown. Only gained 4 seconds back. I've gained 20 seconds on the run earlier. Bro, bro, bro. Can this dude stop jumping around? I'm losing time on a boss block, so this is not good. Just need to make sure we group these dudes. So we can enter the pipe quick. Come on, group them up. This is pretty slow. Probably like a two second time loss. I love how it always picks up the timer. Because I definitely need that. Another one second second of time loss. Nice. Right, come on. Uh, plus 20 now. We're 20 seconds behind where we need to be. But it's salvageable. That's the key word. It's still salvageable. We've got to keep focusing. And then we've got this. 7 1. Oh my god. 7 1 is apparently perfect. On these splits. This is daunting. I just need to hold this gap until 7-4. Or 7-A actually. I caught this. Thanks man. Really appreciate it. I'm just going to need a clutch at ending the most. Especially with this deficit. We held him in place. Right, it's not choked this level like last run. It's always not nice to enter World 7 3 with damage. Nice, that's what I wanted to do before. Nice. Why the fuck? Like, okay, just take like five seconds to enter the pipe. Time to destroy World 7. 
I mean, a mediocre start, but yep, yeah, it's any death is counts as destroyed. So, yep, yeah, this is good. A good start. Three, five, three, three, two. Why am I getting six endings? Three thirty, not good, but it's fine. Not bad as well. I can afford, I think, like three second time losses in each level, but probably no more than that. Right, five seconds of time save. Just please hold off. I don't know if this is a fake purple though. I think purple has like some slide bookie strats on this level, which saves two seconds. Probably can still attack home with a three second time save. Or maybe a one second or two seconds. But either way, if I do not die on this level, it's an improvement from earlier's run. But again, that's a big ask. How have we beat our demons? Or will it be... For the first time in a while, can I get double jeopardy on a level and have two runs die to it in the same night? Let's find out. Come on, Storm. You got this. Preston believes in you. I believe in me. Even if this level dies, I still believe I'll get it eventually. But positive outlook. Nice. Just making it... Like, I'm going to lose a bit of time here because I took it extra safe. But I didn't want, like, the, the boost pads to kill me in that star like it did last run. We still got the same pattern. So I think this is a 42 still. Maybe a 41. If it's a 41, I honestly don't care. Yeah, 41. Five seconds of time saving 7-4. So that means I didn't go for the cycle. That's nice. I can probably just play it semi-safe. Just play it nicely. Don't die. Yeah, I could do the coins in the mouse because the way it's a good quite it's a good question. But anything where I can hold the controller on my left hand, I can do with a mouse. So with that, I only need to hold the control stick. So I can basically just hold the controller in my left hand, and it's basically levels like Captain Toad as well. Like when I rebind my run button, so I can basically just use my left hand. I can basically do it with a mouse. But it's pretty cool. I had to sort of learn, like, in the last nine months, I've sort of just made strats to, like, circumvent the fact I can't use touchscreen. But yeah, it's, most of the time I use mouse, it's when I'm stationary. That could have ended in tears. That's lucky. And I need that good fortune going forward. Thank you, game. This, this, this is pointing towards the run now, because that could have, in any other run, that could have game-ended me. Yeah, well noticed, Preston. That's why I'm pretty sad about the port now, because I've actually got pretty good at touchscreen on the mouse. Right, this is interesting. I'm definitely missing the cycle, which is good, because I don't have to pressure myself going for it. I can just take my time here. Make sure I don't take damage. Actually, I might have been able to get it, but it's fine. We've got five seconds, which means I didn't go for it before. When I say before, I mean on the run yesterday, which is pretty much what we're comparing against. 312 though, pretty slow. I might have missed another cycle then. I never understand how cycles work here. What's this? Yeah. Better than like losing 26 seconds like I normally do keep it. 293. Like how this only loses 2 seconds is beyond me. That felt like it lost more. More fireworks. A bit iffy. But this is where we got time to save because we're not seppukuing. And even if we get slow brawled up, we should still save 12 seconds. Of course, the big time save comes 7-5. That's our last chance to make a mark. So these two levels, you've got to hit home. We've got to be minus 30 after these two splits. If we want a good chance. Come on, Broder. Broder RNG. Please. Yes, come on. Pog! Yes! Fuck yes! Yes! Doesn't matter we got fireworks. That's the second and a half. I'll take that. 163, that's really good. Yes. Woohoo! Right, not over yet. 31 seconds of time save. I need most of them. 
I need most of them. Okay, that will put me... Okay, we've got a minute. We've got a minute. This is more than usual, but it's still going to need a really, really good ending. And I, I need to clutch 8-1 star 2. So it's all hanging in the works. But, you know, we're going to be entering my best ever pace. So if any run can do it, it's this one. Just got to be careful on Trick Trap. Just take it easy. I've got 31 seconds of time save. So just... I'm going to go for all purples, which basically means I wait until they're purple and we just yeet them. So we don't have, we have a nice descent because the last thing I want is getting damaged on descent. It just make, throws me off for 7 7. Yeah. But if I get pur all purples, Preston, like, I, that's not a problem because I don't have to worry about taking damage. So yeah, you're exactly right. It's all about trying to avoid that. And also, no purples means I don't take damage at all from the things. So, it's a win-win. Yeah, it's nice that I've got somebody really rational in my chat for this situation. Because, like, you, Raze, Jordan, Luigi Master, you're able to make good decisions for me when I need it. Which is what I need. That's fine. That was nice timed. Before we're going to leave this dude, because this dude loses a lot of time. So we'll get the other two purples. Or not. You know what? I, I've died to this dude before. Come on. Just lose seven seconds, Jamie. Use your brain. Because now, I can just walk through here. Nice. And that's the hardest bit. Because now we're ahead of the storm. Okay, where am I landing? Please don't land on him. Nice. We are able to maneuver in here. Not a good level by any stretch. But it is good enough. <laughs> Unless I died there. That would have been funny. Um, not. Nice, 272. That's pretty average, to be honest. Okay. Okay. How is this run in this position? Like, how? I was plus 32. It just shows. We, all we had to do is focus, but it's, we're not out of World 7 yet. And World 8 is just as bad. But this is a start. We lowered my um, best ever split still. We're now comparing directly against PB until the end. So this is where it gets intense. We are basically on 159.56 pace. I don't know, was it me or was that Captain Toad screen? Asking a bit more. We'll see on this split. And my, pr my world, like, I was pretty decent in PB until 8-4. So until then, you've got to play pretty perfectly. And then we just have to not die in 8-4 and we should be fine. Of course, we have got a bit of time saving here though, but I don't want that. That's an emergency. How am I in this position, man? This does not feel like the run, but it doesn't matter. Sub 2 does not give a shit about my feelings, and otherwise it would have given it to me a long time ago as well. Why not just walk off the edge? That would have been fun. Purple 7-7, seven seven, but we're big. This is fine. If anything, we just damage boost. It's fine. I'm going to go for race trap now. Just because I know that you can double damage that section. Bugfish is back. Bugfish is the most scuffed run, but somehow we're on PB pace. So it just shows that we just had to keep calm and get to 7-5 and just play it safe. And we save time. This is... We're beginning to get a bit intense though. Probably didn't have changed the camera angle there, that was a bit risky. But Ray's strap is working, which is good. Just playing it slow here. Um, by the way, guys, don't tell anyone until I'm in 8-Dash Castle. Then bring people into the stream, because I can easily choke his crap still. Because I don't want to raise people's hopes and be like the boy who cried wolf. You've been here the whole time. Nice. Thanks, man. 
Which is taking this so safe. This is like a 317. That's all I had to do. Jump at the end. Why am I trying to long jump at the end? 318. How that's a 318 is beyond me. Like that did not feel like a 318. You're playing with a friend? Well, thanks for the lurk, man. I really appreciate it. So you probably heard me blabbering about Hitman 2, Lamar. 318. Yeah. My PB is a 322, but I did not feel like a 318. It felt really slow, but it'll I'll, I'll do. This is where I get scary, though, because we've got a bit of time. Well, we're probably going to lose time here because it was so clean on PB. Like, I remember Preston commenting on this level. Like, it, wow, it was good. And I agree, it was really good. You'll be right back. That's, that's good, Preston. Don't worry. See you in a bit. You didn't really pay attention. Well, you're paying attention now. We're on PB pace. But it's barely because, you know, yeah, we got time save in 8-4, but it's a poison chalice because everything else was so strong that I can't rest assured on that time save. I'm just going to play the rest solidly. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. A world 7, which is not shit. Alright, it's fine. You can just play this safe. Oh my god. Okay, don't don't jinx it yet. Taking it safe. Not the best. I've entered the 440s before, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We're only losing like 3 seconds here. At most. A deathless world 7. I mean, this is all I said. All we need is a Deathless World 7. Play it safe. Doesn't matter that we're bleeding a bit of time. Like, this is by far the best World 7 I've ever seen. Just because of the fact it was clean. That's all we needed it to be. Clean. We're going to need a 26-minute 20, end. Jeez, that's such a long World 8. World 8 is so fucking long. I just imagine nearly got I've still got nearly half an hour to go. My first ever. Sub 134 out of world seven. If anything else, we're gonna be in the 133s. I always said my end my end goal one day is to beat World 7 Dash Castle quicker than the any percent world record. Well at this rate we're getting close to the any percent summer bests. <laughs> We are demolishing World 7 splits. Eating them for breakfast. We're like so far ahead of what we used to be. It's great to see. But you know, getting a 26 minute end is, is tough. And it's what we need. We've only got it a few times. <sighs> Shit. Yep, level by level. How is that better than PB? PB was such a good level. But somehow we saved time. I'm taking that. This is, this is so scary though, 25 minutes away from what I've dreamed of the last nine months but again we got this annoying world in the way and it's an annoying world luckily we don't have our, our, our bounce though it's much easier than in any percent world eight but it's still world eight it's still the second hardest if not third hardest world in the game so we have to treat it with respect
Okay, I'm really lucky there. I normally would get hit by the hitboxes, but this run seems to be having quite a fair bit of luck, which is what I need. Why am I... Okay, this is not how I remember the damage boost cycle working, but whatever. We'll just take a 352. Probably a bit of a time loss here. But it's not a big deal as long as we can get this. Nice, let's go. Whew! Right, just take it slow. You just take the slow descent. We should still line up for this. No drive and skip today. A bit of time loss. Oh, just hang on, hang on. We've got a lot of time to bleed still, guys. I won 59.16, but it's not over yet. I've lost runs in this level before. It's not over yet. Yep, it's right, one level at a time, but this is hard. Okay, that's the hardest part done. Let's just focus now. This level is not free. I don't want to see anyone mocking me if I lose eight seconds here, like I did in my any percent PB. Did not find it too pleasing when people said that, but whatever. Okay, not the best. Go back. Oh my god, that's so good. Whew. You got you got a 155. Nice. Well done. Tell him congratulations from me. It's a good job. You're still going entering Motley. Don't worry, man. You're going to finish before me. And then you can give this run your undivided attention like I'm giving it. Because we brought it back from so far behind. And we're now just <laughs> literally on 159. 58 pace. But we have that 16 second time save on 8-4. So we're going to go for a safe 8-4. If we can. We just need to match PB, man. This is so scary. I have to match bad splits. Yeah, I'm still panicking. <laughs> yeah, but I've had Preston, Bugfish, and a few other people drop by to keep me calm, so... If Yendem is finished, I wouldn't mind Tim coming as well. Because he's played a big part in this journey. Even if this doesn't sub 2, this is the furthest I've ever had like a really good sub 2 run. So it would be nice to have him like to keep me calm towards the end. If he wouldn't mind just, you know, helping a homie out. We still need to do 8-6 skip, so it's not over yet. But we've done pretty much everything else, which is asked of us. Okay, 
Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna just be straight with you guys. And please don't say, oh, you shouldn't feel nervous. You'll be fine. But this is the most nerves I've ever felt on a run. Because my PB, I only knew after the fact that I choked a sub 2. But there's no excuse now. I know this is sub 2. So I'm still being a lot calmer than I thought I would be. But the nerves are really real. Like, they are so real. Center, nice. I'm gonna lose a bit of time. I'm just gonna go for the star. Go for the star. Loses like a few seconds, but whatever. Come on, what's the time loss? How have I only lost like two seconds? That's perfect. Only zero seconds. Come on. 8 4. 18 seconds. This is the nice number. This will definitely put a cushion. Good luck, Jordan. Just get the star storm, get the star. Don't be a hero. Raze won't like this, but I don't care. It's what I need to do. That's the easy bit. This is the bit which screwed me up last time. Find the gap. Nice. Got the nice coin now. Just run to the end, just run to the end. No, no, no showbiz. No showbiz. It helps if Mario runs. Nice. Not a good time, but it doesn't matter. It's losing like 10 seconds instead of 18. The only annoying thing is, is that we still need to go for 8-6 skip, and otherwise it's over. But I'm so glad for Raze's setup. Because it is a lot freer. Once we get this... It's not over. But this is the last... Well, 8-7 as well. But we take it one level at a time. Come on. Shout out to Raze. <laughs> it's not over yet because this start can still screw me. Hasn't for a long time, but got to make sure you focus on everything.
I had a really good 8 7 in PB. Which I'm worried about. But again, we haven't even entered, exited 8 6 yet. Okay, that dude hasn't followed me nice. So glad I'd have to do like a really pog itemless strat like Raze does with Peach for this level at the edge and the end of it. That would be really scary. Not perfect. 216.59, Poggy Jordan. Whatever, it's fireworks. Got 8 7 and 8 A. Here's to crack the time save. <laughs> Good stuff. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, guys, I'm not talking about more than usual. I'm just nervous. This is a weird sort of nerves. I'll be able to calm down once I get into the final level. It's not free, but it's. I don't even. Well, I have died there before. Don't want to jinx it. But... Whoa. If I just have like a, a five second buffer, it makes it a lot easier in the final level. So let's try to build that for me. Oh shit. That's fine. Slow. Twenty-four seconds apparently, but I don't know. Eight dash seven's a bit sus. Oh no, not a death. The run's dead, lol. Safe strats, safe strats. Loses a few seconds. Probably shouldn't have done it though, because we need all the seconds we can get on this level. I'm sort of banking on Histo being a bigger time save than I remember. I hope it's the eight I remember. I don't want to miscalculate. I'm gonna have to do some ground plan still because it's by no means free. There's one time for mouse traps becoming clutch, it's now. Really? Okay, mouse has just gone AWOL. When I needed it, Rose, the mouse just disappeared. Lovely. Nice to know where its loyalties like. That'll do. We can ride it out, I think. We've done enough. We'll see what the time loss is. Perfectly done. Three seconds. That's good. More check mouse. Yeah, exactly. Where's the mouse? There it is. The mouse is returned. Let's go. That was so scary, like, what the fuck? Like, I'm just walking around and I'm like, where's the mouse? Like, guys, where's the mouse? Like, I need it. But I didn't need it. <sighs> Did not need it. 
We have time for one Sapuku. Let's just hope we don't need it. Motley 2. Really annoying boss fight. But, this is my chance. Would help if I could save a few seconds because of lag, but of course Motley's never like that. Four seconds, so just need an average Motley. Got 20 seconds to bleed. That's pretty sizable. Nice. I had to readjust that. Until you get the first cherry, I always take that save. Because you can always take damage. So then my purple is actually pretty safe here, I think. So the fact I've got four seconds to it means it's pretty good. Okay, good. Okay, I thought we took damage there, but we got another clone. If anything, we Sapuku Histocrat, but we don't want to have to do it because then we, we need a perfect. Okay, pretty all over the place, that Motley fight, but it's done. Okay, if you can maybe ask Yandama around now. I'm not going to ask other people until around Histo because... I don't want to jinx anything. As soon as I enter 8 dash castle, like even if I choke it, just get everyone. Like ping everyone you can. Or if I'm on the final climb, once I get past the Ferris wheel, when I'm on the final climb, okay? Because the Ferris wheel is where you can die, so I don't want to jinx it. So after I get past the Ferris wheel and the buddies, which I should have enough time to just take the slow way, then get everyone. It depends where I enter this. I might need a 608 ending, which is fine. Okay, if we can get this out to 31 second lead, then we're fine. That's good, anyway. And then we'll be beating your balance comparison. Not perfect, but as I say, come off the hour, come off the man. And never has the saying been more true. We didn't need a perfect bot, boss, uh, Motley, but it's still time saved, and quite a lot of it. 438. Okay. Oh my god, this is this is it. <laughs> okay, 615. 650, I just need to finish. I just need to finish. Okay, come on. Just take it easy. Ferris will all the way around. All the way around. <laughs> I literally will jump to the top clown and then I'll see it. I'll see the jump pad. I have I have 15 seconds to normal. Last push, last push. Alright, Bugfish, nice joke. I just need to focus, sorry. Goodness me, that's an interesting start to the level. I mean, I can bleed time, but the long jump not working. Is that an omen, my friends? Who knows? Still not too bad, so I don't know why I'm stressing. Right, let's get on this and just take it slow. This always happens to me when I'm on a good pace. <sighs> Very nice save though. Okay, so that's some time. Long jump and the bully. That that could have ended in tears. Already. 
But that's the hard part done. Now it's just the long part. I forgot their skew. I forgot their skew. If there was more skew than that, I could have died to the stupidest reason. I could have died to skew. I could have died to skew. That is actually so funny. Um, if you guys don't know, if you jump off a platform which is moving forward, you can get skew when doing a long jump, which skews you in a direction. And I forgot about that. I legit, I was playing it so safe, I forgot about skew, and I nearly died. Bro, that would have been the stupidest way to go. Get, get everyone now. Just get everyone. I don't care if this isn't, even if this chokes. Even if this chokes, just get everyone. <laughs> just get everyone. This, we've got 15 seconds. This is more than I thought we would need. God, now everyone's coming. Shit. <laughs> Welcome, new people. Oh my god, this could be the end. But I don't want to say anything. I don't want to say anything. We were plus 32 on my best run. We pulled it back. <laughs> It just showed we didn't need perfection. We didn't even need a good run in the end. We just needed a good World 7. We didn't die in World 7. We haven't died in World 8. Let's keep it that way. Let's keep it that way. Oh my god. It's not over yet. It's not over yet. It's not over yet. I'm so could be over though. Of course this happens, nice. I mean, how much have I tanked this though? That's the question. I think I've lost about nine seconds so far. Thanks Rapid. Rapid's speaking sense. Oh my goodness. You guys are all so supportive. <laughs> this is all I always dreamed of doing. I have enough time, I think, so I don't need to stress the end. Even with an average... Oh my god, no. Can I get up there? We're going to look into the camera for the final time, hopefully, ever on this game. I said I wouldn't do Bowser's Fury until I got my goal. It's been nine months. It's been... You guys have been patient. I've been patient. But the patience may have paid off. Keep your celebrations, boys. Until we hit that final pal, anything is possible. It's not over yet. Just, I take the safe. I'm on the moving platform. Oh my god, this is it. Come on, just finish now. Just fucking finish. I don't even need to do raise this strat, I don't think. I'm not too pressed. The ending is 55 seconds. Oh my god, this is going to be tight though. It's tighter than I wanted it to be. Definitely in the 50s. I've definitely had a really bad ending. But, I mean, I've just played it safe, right? It's what anyone would do. Yes! Yes! Oh my god, it's a 159.50! <laughs> yes! Fuck yes! Oh my god, it wasn't even a good run! I'm not even tearing up, I'm just faking at this point. What the fuck? What is this reaction? But no. <laughs> this is it. This is actually it though. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's still sinking in. It's still sinking in. Just just finish it, please. I don't even know what the fuck this last split is. It's shit, but I don't care. Please. <laughs> fuck it, yes. <laughs> yes. It's been such a long journey. Fucking yes. I knew it was possible. Look at this shit ending. God. Come on, just finish it up. Finish it up. Oh, we caved it. It wasn't even close. It was a 603 ending, really. That was so slow. Oh my god, that was such a slow ending. Yes. Yes. Oh my god, yes. Oh my god. Oh, now you get to see my ugly face. Oh my god, you get to see it. Take off the fucking headset. Oh my god. Yes. Yes. I'm so tired. 
I'm so tired, but it's paid off. It's paid off. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna chill in VC, guys. Hopefully, see you there. I'm popping off on the server as well, but I just need to let it sink in. It still hasn't. It's finally over. I can finally move on with this game. <laughs> I can finally move on with this game and do the new game. I've got new equipment coming tomorrow, so yeah, I can do gyro controls in the new game. I can actually challenge raids at Itemus. And you're right, Jordan. I did it my way. <laughs> I didn't need save skips. I didn't even need the 4 2 warp, and yet it was hard. But we bought Luigi Master's run technically. <laughs> Who fucking cares, man? Whatever. <laughs> it wasn't even pretty. We were literally sitting plus 32, and I was thinking about abandoning this run. But I just held out, and World 7 was clean. That's all I needed. A good World 7. World 8 was so sketch, but I just needed to survive. I just needed to do it. And yeah, the route paid off. I'm clutched 8-1. Every single run I needed that extra star. It's a hard star. I did it every time. And, you know, just being able to sub one hour, even on plus 23 pace against best splits, it's enough. It's still enough for sub hour. And that's what I said. One hour. Not even that. I sub hour the ending. I did a 59-56 ending. Guys, my best ending. My best ending before now. <laughs> my best ending before that wasn't even sub... 101 it was like a 10030. I'm chilling in VC. This is so sick. Are you guys in general or should we go into community races? Oh, are you in general? Okay, cool. I might actually go into community races. I don't know. Is Jim Coolis and Sari even here? Because I don't want to like raid their call by just shouting at them. I'm gonna chill in community races, guys. Um, if you guys want to join, I'm gonna be there. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit, yes. <laughs> Get raised. Get raised, get demo, get them all. Fuck this. Oh my god, if demo's streaming, we can raid him, man. I can just raid him. Oh my god. Right, he's in VC. Right, Let's go. fucking go! Yes. Yes, Let's head. go! <laughs> Nine months. Oh my god, and before tomorrow as well. I needed it before tomorrow. Let's oh go. Oh my god, I fuck the port. Uh, well, not anymore. I can actually move on with my life. Nine months. Nice, dude. Oh, Luigi Big Master's G. role. Thanks, Luigi Master. Oh, my God. Go. Thanks, I'm Master. Luigi Master. Oh, thanks, man. Uh, that's Definitely worth staying up until 1am to see this. Oh, thanks, man. I'm really glad. I'm really glad. Like, 420 pits blushes. Oh, my God. Thanks, man. It's a raid, Gam. I mean, we've got Yandema. We've got Priceless. You know what? I might raid Priceless. This is top three, right? Well, yeah, technically, but in terms of the route, oh you know, God, this dude. is the fastest anyone's done this route. Legendary. So, didn't even go for the four four. two walk, which is a bit booky, but yeah, I mean, this is one of my personal yeah, goals for like so long. This is like the end of an era, dude. You're finally done. Yeah, I can finally move on with finally this game. Finally got it. It wasn't it's like, even, it's like oh. everybody got their goals. It's like <laughs> everyone got their goals, like for the original game. So it's like, if you're, it's like so fitting. Yeah, we could just move on. What's, what's world record right now? Um, a 154, um, 16 by raise, but he has save skips, which save two and a half minutes because I'm on emulator. So I have to do it the old fashioned way. Valid. Oh, are you doing normal 3D world? Yeah, normal 3D world. And I've, I've been at this for nine months. Um, no save skips. I didn't even, I didn't even use the 4 2 warp because that thing is just insane. Credit to Raise Man. That's it saves crazy. five minutes, but my goodness. Oh, thanks, Jordan. Oh, my goodness. You've been there since day one, man. Nine months. It's been a, such a long fucking time, man. I knew you were going to get it really soon. You were my first yeah, two days ago. Day. You said, a few days ago, you said you were you, you're giving up and now you did it. I know. Like, it just yesterday gave me a second win and I just needed. I just needed to just be happy. I mean, I was literally rambling about Hitman 3 for like the first half of the run. All right. G and I was just going to run. I'll speak to you later. Yeah. Hey, Hex as well. Like, you're ready for tomorrow, right? Like, yeah, I'm ready. Let's start. I'll just ping you early. Rapid as well. Yeah. But at least I can go I'm into that event with a good conscience because we fucking did it. Wait, oh, have you ran Adventure Bowser's Fury yet or no? Wait. No. I, I wanted to make sure I, I had this under my belt before I did it. Like I've been Fair going. I'm trying. I'm trying to learn th uh, Bowser's Fury, but it's hard. Yeah, it is hard. Yeah. What is it tomorrow? Storm, you could have gone a lot faster if you just got the cat suit. <laughs> I knew you'd say that, man. But you, even you, were supporting me at the end, Rapid. Really appreciate. Yeah, you could have. You could have just gone faster if you used the Switch version version and skipped the cutscene. 
Right. This you didn't have work in World is 3, Is there right? a Mary Percent Didn't event tomorrow or involved. something? To be honest, um, I don't know, maybe. I, I, I could finally move on with the port, but like, and do the port, <laughs> but I don't really care for now. I'm just sort of still letting this sink in because it's been nine months of this shit. Like, sub 2 is any percent, but that was pretty piss easy in comparison. This, this shit is wild. Like, I could probably sub 159, but like, to get within a minute of like, what I think perfect would be is, is, is good enough for me. I'm just popping off right now. Even beat your custom comparison. That's insane. Spamming it everywhere, like put this picture. And that's Ray's man. <laughs> oh my god. You missed it, Rip. Oh but I'm Should fine. I ping Ray's in his Discord? That's fine, I've pinged him. Has anyone done a hundred shines yet for speedruns? I think Hex has. I wonder how a route with that even would work. You need at least 10 Bowser cycles. Yeah. Oh, thanks, Jordan. Man. Thanks, Preston. Thanks, Luigi Moss. Thanks, Bug Fisher. Thanks, everyone, man, who's been there the last nine months. Like, wow. I can actually move on and just do itemless percent of raise tomorrow. Like, and actually. Do the port and enjoy the port without having this weighing on my conscience. I and mean, we didn't, it wasn't even close. I was expecting a 58 or a 57. We beat it by 12 seconds. That's much more than I thought. I didn't even tell I you I was streaming. Oh, sorry, plushes, man. Oh, shame, man. But thanks so much for the bits, man. I really appreciate it. I'm just like standing on, what was this? A 3 2 2 ending. Oh, dear. I would have laughed at that a long time ago, but I'm not laughing at this. What? Very so important question. Sick. What was your two dash one time? Um, I had a three forty earlier. By the way, I had a three forty earlier. This one was a three three four, so it was average. Oh, oh, so I had a three forty. Oh god! Like my three forty was so hype. Like I need to. I don't know if you clipped it, Jordan. I mean, I'm gonna have to clip this run anyway. I'm I'm uploading it to YouTube for like the first time. No, in, like, I didn't. A long time. Whew. I can raid somebody now. I who am I gonna raid? Um. You fucking. Who am I gonna raise? I need to go to. Bed oh, yeah, Demo's here. In, in, see I, guys. I, I know he doesn't like me calling out lurkers, but I can see him in my chat. So, oh my god, Yan Demo, I finally fucking did it. It's been nine months, man. You're here. I can see. I can see. I can see. It's been nine months. I can finally move on with my life. Like, I didn't give two shits about sub to any percent because, like, I didn't really have a good run there, but this was not good, but it's good enough considering I was about to give up on this and you know Like the last few days I've been playing so good that even plus 35 which is normally like a reset I just played solidly didn't die in world 7 and with this new route like, you know, just skipping 3-4 start 3 whatever I'm able to get like 3007 starts like 3004 starts which is about 20 seconds up and it just as long as I can clutch 8-1 like I did, it just works. And I somehow still gain time in World 8, even though I was literally shivering from 8-1. Oh my god. I can actually play the Switch for tomorrow. And I'm getting gyro controls. You know, I've got an actual Switch. You know what? You know what? Let's fucking stream some Switch to show I've got, I've got the game. Just so then Demo knows I am... Not Doing like, Bowser throws with gyro is so annoying. It must be, man. Like, the mouse... I, I'm, I've am got used to the mouse after all this time. I really have. <sighs> Let's open the Switch up. Right, Switch capture. I'm no sure. Watch out the Switch capture doesn't congrats. work now. Yeet. Oh, thanks for the congrats, man. Really appreciate it. It's been such a long time coming. Oh. Uh, I have to leave the call. Congrats, yeah, no worries, Jordan, but Thank I you so much I for the last nine months. Like, honestly, you know, as I said, I, I mean, I, I'm appreciative of everyone who's been here the last nine months. So the biggest shout out goes to you, man. Like, you've been there since the first stream. And you've honestly been almost in every single one. 
and we've slowly seen it edge closer to sub two, but oh, it took so long, man. Three months of like proper grinding for it as well. Um, yeah, yeah, I have face cam, lol. Am I streaming value stream? Right. Oh, I can hear the volume. Now. That's a bit loud. Turn down the volume. Right, let's try, let's play with some input lag. Oh god, we got a cat suit. We want to get rid of that. I'm actually using a cat suit in these games. Wait, right, is it actually streaming the right game? I don't even know because I'm, I've got a lot of delay on my stream. Yeah, it's streaming the Switch version. Nice. So I do own this game. Just in case anyone's interested. I haven't emulated this one. So I'll just skip the cutscene. Like, how do you play this in Joy-Con? Like, this is where you see some really shit gameplay. The best of what I've just done. Oh my god, the speed! I will never have to go back to slow mo again. Like, what the fuck? This is like six times faster. Oh my god, the Wii Master as well, man. You raised Preston Jordan. You've been there for so long. Like, you know. Even like, you know, Yantema Priceless, like, there's, there's so many names. There's so many names you just help, like, you know what, fuck this game. I don't, I don't want to play the port just yet. I, I, that, that just shows I, I will be submitting to the leaderboards. So, you know, d I have got a switch. Right, are you still streaming, Yantema? Are you still streaming? Because you turned up before Priceless, so if you're still streaming, you get the sub-2 raid. I've only, I only get to do this once, and... You know what? It will go to you because I don't know value and I don't know priceless. So, yeah, I think. Yep, it sounds like you want the raid. How many viewers have I got? Only five viewers. Everyone's left. Lol. <laughs> They've seen sub two. They're out. You know they don't want to stay for the after party. That's fair enough. I'm not asking them to, but I'll still send the viewers your way. Holy shit, though. I, I, I can't believe it, man. It's this is so fucking wrong. I was beginning to think it would never happen just because of the mental block, but just yesterday. Yesterday was just such a big step in the right direction. But yeah, we're going to raid Yandema, guys. I'm going to stay in the VC, though. I don't know if Yandema wants to join VC, but I think he's streaming. But he's still... So thanks for dropping by, man. In the end. I mean, I I'll clip the run. Actually, I need to remind myself to do that. Yeah, face reveal. <laughs> Nine months coming. I mean, Stromboli technically already snippeted it. Bloody wanker. But I, I took down the thing, so it's fine. God, this was literally the last run of the day as well. And honestly, as my controller for the Switch and my HDMI split is coming tomorrow, I would probably have not done this game for like any longer than tomorrow. That would have probably been the final day. Of course, I got that event tomorrow for the Warwick awesome game marathon or whatever the fuck it's called like the btech ag dq but apart from that i wasn't going to run this game again so what a fucking good way to end it and I'm not, i don't even care if i'm swearing right now we're gonna raid yandema um definitely one of the most important people over the last nine months and you know from the beginning and even recently as well because when i was really down like preston yandema reached out to me definitely helped out so we'll give him a raid and give him some support. He is the best um, human 3D world runner. Of course, Luigi Master is just in another planet. But he's really good. And um, you can watch some good gameplay. And not just scraping sub 2. Right, um, that's me out. And um, yeah, see you guys.